Tesla's second quarter results showed some shocking numbers for megapacks for stationary storage deployment in terms of how much of it actually got out the door. And we're talking big bucks all over the world in a market so large that it cannot be satisfied in the next 10, perhaps 20, perhaps ever years. So we're going to discuss a little bit about Megapacks today. I've got my good friend Herbert from Brighter with me. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Yeah, so Herbert, I don't know if you heard. This is kind of exciting news. Yeah. Uh, Mega Packs. Saw that, uh, yeah. This one, this just one, yeah. uh, broke ground in Arizona. This one's a little bit older, but it is a 1.3 terawatt system. Here it says one megawatt, so maybe it's only, or one terawatt, so maybe it's only that. Uh, these are big, big numbers. Uh, we've also got this other one here that's a little from bit Australia. more this one's recent. From Arizona. Yeah, 56,000 homes. Yeah, that, this is massive. This one, let's see, the world's largest offshore wind farm mm -hmm. that's going to power. This one is in uh, Denmark. Uh, but these projects just keep showing up. This one is another 100 megawatts in New Zealand. And every one of these has a, a pretty substantial price tag, truly massive, really. Um, and then the 2XL to power two, wow. uh, 200 megawatt yeah. slash 800 megawatt. Uh, and these, these just keep showing up over and over. So let's pretend uh, I don't know what a mega pack is. And why don't you tell me? And this is a three, another so, 375 million. First of all, I'm shocked that you found all of these because uh, they, uh -huh. you know, they, they often go under the radar. And apparently yeah. what I've been hearing from the energy experts is that you don't, we don't even know all of them. Like there's many of these uh, agreements that are being signed that are not going to be published. They're not being announced. Uh, the reason why they're being in public or, you know, we're seeing more and more of them is because it's already proven. It is absolutely proven that these mega packs um, are very effective. So, you know, I'm not the expert. I'm not going to be the one to explain to you exactly what these things are, but I do know that they're the size of a semi truck, you know, they're right. the size of a big dumpster and, uh, they're, you know, it's not just a battery pack that can store energy. It's actually, uh, powered by Autobitter, which is a software system, an AI based software system that can understand and manipulate kind of like when is the right time to, to, um, to, to send the energy and where that is required. So every city, you know, um, you know, instead of having a peaker plant when there's the energy is uh, gas and the requirement for electricity has overloaded. You and I just did a show where even Texas, there was a hurricane that hit Texas and there was 7,000 homes had power walls. And so it's like the smaller version, the retail version of it, and they're able to support themselves. Uh, but the, the state themselves, uh, go brownouts and blackouts because they can't uh, support that. And Australia has proven it, that if you buy these mega packs, do you remember this? Like uh, several years ago, there was this, you know, very public bet that it was, a, you know, uh -huh. and uh, yes, what is it? The Australian prime minister said, um, you know, and then Elon said, look, we'll do it. We'll send you the mega pack uh, factory there. We'll build it with a certain time frame. And if we don't hit that, whatever it is, I don't remember 90 days, Whatever. It was 90 days, yeah. 90 days, or it's free. Or it's free. We'll give it to you for free. And they hit it on the 89th day. I mean, it's unbelievable, yeah. but it it's not just that bet. Like they actually have uh, already installed there. I think Australia was one of the first. And then they started yeah. reporting crazy return on investment numbers. And again, we should look into the details, but like within a year, two years, whatever, it's already paid for itself. So it was a hundred million dollar project yeah. uh, for that first installation. And they, they would have loved to have gotten it for free. The reason they had to do that bet was because Tesla famously misses deadlines and yeah. we can't, we don't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So they said, so Elon said, look, 90 days or it's free. And they got it. They may have paid more than would have been paid to another company. Um, they may have had other bids that were, 89 but you definitely have time. to pay it yeah i don't i don't know what the other bids were but the i'd seen two different reports one that said it paid back the 100 million in six months yeah, and the other said 12 months yeah that's, so that's right what did they do they doubled the size of it other yeah. 
other jurisdictions, area, uh, other parts of, of the country started putting them in as well. Yeah. And they just keep expanding because everyone knows what a battery is. You put juice in, you take juice out. Very good. Uh, but what happens on a grid when you don't have batteries is when you overproduce, you have to curtail it, which means either sparking it into the air or just dumping it into the ground. That's just lost money. And when you underproduce, then you have to, as you said, fire up a gas peaker plant. Those are the most expensive, expensive. power plants there are yeah. because they're designed for intermittency. They're designed to fill gaps as needed. And they often have contracts that say when they fire up, they have to leave. We, we get paid for three hours, even if you only need 30 minutes, because there is a cost to starting them up. So what this does is when there's a little bit of extra juice, yep. they put it in the battery. And when there's a little bit of shortage, they sell it and they get to make the difference on that all day, every day. It says here, uh, there's 999 to so almost a thousand peaker plants in the United States. Uh, these are power plants that use fossil fuels to meet infrequent spikes in electricity demand. Uh, usually they're located near urban areas with high energy needs. So there's a thousand of these. And my point earlier was that it's now proven that these mega pack, um, you know, installations is effective. It's ROI, it works. And so pretty well, you know, all of these thousand peaker pants will be replaced at some point pretty quickly. That's just the U S and that's yeah, yeah. just with today's power demands. So you touched on something earlier. Uh, let's get into that, which is, well, I can buy these from anyone. I can even hire my own engineers to build me something like this. Did you know Gruber Motors makes a product just like this with lead acid batteries? They sure. do. That's one no, of their they do. core There's products. Lots of competitors. Yeah. But so why would I buy it from Tesla instead of BYD or CATL? I mean, it probably has CATL batteries in it or yeah, LG. Why don't I just yeah. buy it? For, it's auto bitter. Auto bitter. So that what what you were saying earlier is auto bitter predicts the future. It looks at the weather and says, you know what, we're probably going to need to go all the way to 100% here for a little bit, because there's a storm front coming in or um, tomorrow's going to be hotter and there's going to be more AC demand, uh, you know, air conditioning, not alternating current, though technically both. Uh, it doesn't take much smart prediction of what the power is going to cost over the next 24 to 48 hours to more than pay for not just the price difference, but the entire installation. Yeah. Uh, and now that they're using LFP, these batteries are going to last for 20 years. Yeah. And so auto is actually AI machine learning, AI skills that Tesla has had proven that it's actually working, selling, so when people say Tesla's not an AI company, you you go, you don't know what Autobitter is? Have you figured out that that's already being used for that in a very, very cost-effective real-world application of what this is? So the, the other day on X, Bradford Ferguson asked the question, has companies like Google and uh, yeah. Apple, have they actually assessed how much they've paid for their AI yeah. versus how much revenue it's generating? Right. And if they have, what is that number? Because I think that number is lower than you would want it to 20 be. 20 bucks a month to the consumers is not going to cut it. Yeah. Is not going to cut it. And I just, I think they're spending far more and getting far less where Tesla's looking at it and saying, we have a product in mind that requires AI. Let's get the AI and sell the product. Auto bidder is one example. Um, FSD subscriptions today, that hundred bucks a month is going is AI money. It is AI generated revenue. Yeah. So it's all, it's all very exciting. Oh, you know, just a couple, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't discuss this, but basically every single country in this world is going to need to build these mega packs factories and mega, mega pack factories in their own location to be able to build as many mega packs they can. That's why I, you know, Elon, when he went around a couple of years ago and he was shaking hands with every uh, world leader out there, dignitaries out there. And uh, you take a look at all the countries he visited. Nine of the 10 that he visited were the top nine, econ the top 10 economies. Mm. And the only one that he didn't shake hands with was Japan. That was it. Everyone else, mm. he had, you know, photo ops, big visits. I think that those were, everybody thought, oh, they're gigafactories. 
they're mega pack factories is what I thought it was. And so this is going to, you know, now that uh, Tesla launched, Lathrop is now pretty close. It's getting there to full scale, full production. Mm -hmm. You, you and I just did a show on Shanghai's mega pack factory and Grace Tao, the VP of global um, vice president for Tesla said that it's on track and it'll be ready by first quarter of 2025. You're going to hearing announcements of mega pack factories around the world. That's the one. And two, in the last couple of years, what happened? There's an AI boom. And this AI boom and the, the purchase of NVIDIA chips is an example of that. The metaphor, or not a metaphor, but an, uh, a, a leading indicator of what's happening. Every company needs to build data centers. And every country needs to build data centers. What the data centers need. They need a lot of power. A lot of power. In fact, that Amazon bought a data center, built a data center right beside a nuclear power plant. That's mm -hmm. what they need to do. <laughs> no, literally, right? And then yeah, there's yeah. like this one person in Google data data uh, center um, lead, and he was asked the question, why don't you just big a mega facility in that same location? Because he was complaining how it's very difficult to have multiple locations of data centers and trying to have them all communicate oh. and work together. And he said, because at a certain um, level, a certain amount, uh, it takes down the whole state, the, the power yeah. grid of the state. And so they're already at that point and every data center will need to buy mega packs. Um, wow. And it doesn't take many uh, cycles to make back a whole bunch of money. Um, and you can do those cycles two, three times a day. Uh, so it's, yeah, the opportunity is there. And I think you're right that we're going to see these all over the world because uh, power has a pretty standard price around the world. It's in the, you know, five cent to... 30 cent range no matter where you go at five cents it might not uh, per kilowatt hour it might not make as much sense but start with all the places that are up around 30 cents and work down from there you're going to see some big advantages guys in the comments what did we miss what did we misunderstand leave it i beg of you yeah, one, the one video quick comment yes uh, i just yes. want i think this is really critical morgan stanley i just found the the image here for every mega pack that's sold which is 1.4 million dollars is what they they price it at, they get a 20% operating margin versus a car that Tesla sells is at 40,000, right? 7% operating margin. So one mega pack is equivalent to 35 cars in revenue and a hundred cars in profit. And one mega factory is equivalent to 350,000 cars and 1 million cars in operating income. So, so Lathrop is as w worth as much margin as Giga Shanghai. A million and a Lathrop and factory, mega pack factory. People keep explaining to me it's the size of a Walmart, the size of a Target. Oh, yeah, it's I've, empty I've been there as well. Yeah, I've been out there with uh Joe wow. from the uh San Joaquin Tesla Owners Club. Uh, he's the president of that organization. It is, yeah, it just looks like a, a building at an office park, is really all it is. Yeah. Uh, and there's not very many employees, so this is. A whole bunch of opportunity and well yes but prices are going to keep coming down well yeah. yes but cost of goods sold is coming down too so and it's a subscription uh, this is the it's not just the one-time purchase installation it's continuous service yeah, yeah yeah so in addition to that you guys what did we miss or misunderstand uh head on over to herbert's channel brighter with herbert uh these videos are where we try to make you smarter but the comments is where you make us smarter so show up and and uh share the love if you would uh everybody else like subscribe do the usual you know what you're doing uh subscribe pretty please because if uh only about half my viewers are subscribed you're here you made it this far through the video it doesn't hurt, I promise. Uh, so stay tuned, stay juicy. Cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one.